Good evening. Well, I think it's very fitting that during this season of giving, we are honoring Preston Carruthers, who for nearly 50 years has been so generous with his time and his talent and his resources, focusing in many areas, but tonight especially we want to recognize his contributions to students and to education. And we have a number of speakers who would like to share some thoughts. And we are going to start first with David Foster, who is a former school board member and former chair of the Arlington School Board, and as Emma said, the president of the Virginia State Board of Education, and has something in common in that regard with Mr. Carruthers. <laughs> Mr. Foster. Indeed. Thank you, Abby. It's great to be back with my uh, former colleagues on the Arlington School Board and uh, some of your new colleagues. Uh, I know that when I left, I promised you I would never come back to uh, haunt you from this lectern, <laughs> but uh, this time I was invited and uh, every rule does have an exception and I think we'd all agree that Preston Carruthers is exceptional, so you're the exception to that rule. Uh, I'd like to think, however, actually, uh, Preston, that I have a couple of things in common with you. One is, the one to which you alluded, Abby, that uh, Preston served as both chairman of this school board and president of the Virginia Board of Education. I had the same two privileges. I doubt any other locality in the Commonwealth can uh, make that claim. And uh, believe me, every day when I serve in that role in Richmond, I think about what big shoes I am trying to fill. And secondly, do promise to keep this nonpartisan, Abby. Preston was appointed in 1968 when the county board appointed school board members, correct? And he was rumored at that time to have Republican tendencies. <laughs> I know that's dangerous to mention here, Preston, but I got you back. He was appointed, nonetheless, by a Democratic county board. Well, more than 30 years later, when I ran for the school board, I was rumored to have Republican tendencies. <laughs> but I got elected by, well, Arlington. <laughs> Rare phenomenon both times. Preston, I really admire your bipartisan appeal. But that's where the comparison ends, because in truth, uh, no one can really compare to Preston Carruthers and Jean, his bride of many decades and partner in all these civic commitments, the depth and breadth of which is really unparalleled, especially in the, the arena of education. You see it wherever you go around Arlington. If you drive up 26th Street past Marymount University, you can't miss that beautiful new academic and uh, residential facility, Carruthers Hall. If you work out or attend a, a county fair at the Thomas Jefferson Middle School or a community center, you're reminded of Preston's commitment while serving on this board to that facility. When you walked in here tonight, you and I both passed by the David Brown Memorial Planetarium, which has been saved and wonderfully refurbished with the strong support of the Carruthers. And on the state level, certainly whenever my colleagues and I on the Virginia Board of Education deal with, for example, those famous standards of quality that set the minimum expectations in facilities and staffing for every school, public school in the Commonwealth of Virginia, we're mindful that we're building on a foundation that you actually laid with your colleagues there many years ago. I could talk all night about Preston's contributions to education in the Arlington and the Commonwealth, but then you wouldn't invite me back. <laughs> And we do have some distinguished speakers to follow me. So let me close by coming back to the point about Preston's bipartisan appeal and leave you with this quote from the late Mills Godwin, the only person ever elected governor of Virginia as both a Democrat and a Republican. And when he asked Preston to chair a statewide bond campaign, Governor Godwin said, and I quote him, Preston has the kind of enlightened and aggressive leadership qualities that make him an admirable choice. End quote. Madam Chairs and members of the board, I have to say that tonight in picking Preston for this honor, you made an admirable choice and I appreciate the chance to be a small part of it. Thank you, Preston. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your taking the time to be here tonight. And next I'd like to introduce Mike Nardalilli, who is the president of the Arlington Outdoor Education Association. Uh, members of the board, uh, I am Mike Nordalilli. I'm president of the Arlington Outdoor Education Association, also known as the Arlington Outdoor Lab. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, the Arlington Outdoor Lab 
uh, is a 225 acre environmental facility in Broad Run, Virginia. Uh, we have a new lead silver animal built lab building, a cottage, pond, stream, miles of hiking trails, and with our latest acquisition, the top of Biscuit Mountain. Over 9,000 Arlington County Public School children visit the lab each year, and we hold two popular open houses each year for the Arlington community. But we who are now the stewards of the Arlington Outdoor Lab stand on the shoulders of giants. Of course, the mother of the lab was Phoebe Hall Nippling, and Anita Scott, her daughter, is with us this evening. Um, she was the science advisor who conceived and created the Outdoor Lab in the 1960s. Phoebe and the AOEA purchased 195 acres from Mrs. Stryker for $90,000, taking out a mortgage on the land. According to Kim Smith's history of the lab, however, that was not the end of the story. Quote, the lab was almost lost until the, quote, lab angel, close quote, anonymously gave the AOEA an interest-free loan to pay off the mortgage. Time was now on the lab side, the money could be raised, and the loan repaid, close quote. Mildred Witten's 10-year history of the lab recounts the fact that the AOEA board continued to refer to this anonymous donor as the AOEA angel for many, many years, never identifying who the AOEA angel was. Of course, the lab angel turned out to be Preston Carruthers, and we all owe him a debt of gratitude for supporting the lab at that critical time. Mr. Carruthers has continued to be a strong supporter of the outdoor lab, and we join all of you here today in thanking him for his important role in the education of generations, generations of Arlington Public School students at the Outdoor Lab. Thank you, Preston. Thank you very much, Mike. And now we will hear from Alice Monet with the um, Friends of the Arlington Planetarium. And that angel visited, visited us as well. I'm the president of the Friends of the Planetarium. And for those of you who are here tonight who don't know the story, um, the Friends accepted a challenge to raise $400,000, which was the amount of money needed to refurbish the planetarium and to keep it open. And we did this with great confidence and, and perhaps too much confidence. And as the year came to an end, we were a long way short of our goal. And um, I won't say that I was scared, but I was concerned that we weren't going to make it. It was, it was a tough time. It was tough to come up with those funds. And on, I think it was December, 26th or something like that just before the end of the year I got a call from Mr. Carruthers who said I understand that you're trying to raise some money how much do you need and I said we need a hundred thousand dollars and he said would it help if I wrote you a check and I said yes sir <laughs> <laughs> And my daughter and I went right over to his office and he wrote us a check. And I know a lot of people pat me on the back and pat us all on the back and say, hey, you did a great job saving the planetarium. And a lot of people contributed to saving the planetarium and they all deserve credit. But at that moment, at that critical moment, Preston, you saved the planetarium. Thank you so much. And it didn't stop there. It would have been one thing to write a check that was great, it was fantastic, but, but I asked Preston for more. I asked him to serve on our board of advisors because I knew he was a very wise man. And that was clear to me right from the start, from our first conversation. And he did, and he, he joined me for meetings with, with uh, um, the superintendent on two occasions. He advised me and encouraged all of us and continued to support us, and he's really been a, a pivotal member of the Friends of the Planetarium. And so I'm very proud to be part of the group recognizing your support for education, for, for Arlington schools, for education in Virginia. I, I'm so proud to know you and thank you, thank you again.